Hi everyone, today we're going to create a game where you try to catch a falling apple. Oh, missed. And we're going to be using Scratch to create this game today. And hey, if you're new to Scratch or you need a refresher, please check out my Learn to Code videos at my YouTube channel. And I suggest that you uh, follow me because I'll upload be uploading videos quite regularly. This will get you up to speed really fast on how to code with Scratch. Anyways, let's get started. I'm going to go to Scratch and I'm already here at Scratch. I'm going to click the Create button because we're creating something brand new today. If a tutorial pops up, you can exit the tutorial because I'm doing a tutorial today. You can also say goodbye to the cat, so I'm going to click on the garbage can right there. I'm going to get a backdrop for our game, so I'm going to click way down here and choose a backdrop. The backdrop I like for today's game is called Jungle, so I'm going to choose that one. Uh, I'm also going to get two sprites. I'm going to get an Apple Sprite and a Bowl Sprite. So I'm going to click down here and choose Sprites. So I'm going to get an Apple, because that's what we're trying to catch, so there's Apple. Great. And we're also going to get a bowl because that's what the apple is going to fall into, a bowl. So where's the bowl? Oh, am I not seeing it here? Right there. Bowl. Perfect. So now let's code the apple to drop first. So I'm going to go to apple right there. I'm going to have the apple start at the very top of the screen right there. So look what I'm going to do. Um, green flag. I'll just make this a bit bigger so you can see this at home or at school, wherever you're working. When the green flag is clicked, I want it to go to the top. So the top is 0 and 150. So go to, right there, I'm going to change those numbers. All right, go to 0 and 150, which is the top center of the screen. Right there, let's test that out. Ready? Perfect, right there. And then what I wanted to do is when you click on the apple, it scroll, it slot, it uh, goes all the way down to the bottom. So look what I'm going to do. I'm going to go over here. <clears throat> when this sprite is clicked, right there. So if you click the apple sprite, when this sprite is clicked, it's going to start falling down. So it's going to change its y coordinates. And we know that x's go left and right. Y's go up and down. So I'm going to change the Y coordinate because I want it to go down. So I'm going to go to the motion and I'm going to go get the change Y. And I want to change Y by minus 10 or negative 10 because it's going to go downwards. So change Y by minus 10. I'm going to have it do this 10 times. Let's see how that goes. Ready? So I'm in the control. I'm going to get a repeat 10 times. So when I click the sprite, when I click the apple, it's going to change its Y coordinates by minus 10, 10 times. So it's going to start going down. Let's see if that's enough 10 times. Ready? Green flag. And I'm going to click on it. Oh, no, not even close. Let's try 20 times. No, 30 times. Ready? Green flag. And click on it. Perfect. It goes all the way down. So 30 tries was just right. And hey, when it gets to the bottom, I want it to go back to the top. So look what I'm going to do. When I click it, it's going to go all the way down to the bottom 30 times it'll do that and then go back to the beginning so I'm going to go get the motion and go back to 0 and 150 150 so it should go all the way to the top ready green flag I'm going to click it there and it goes all the way back to the top perfect nice hey when I want it when it hits the bottom I want it to make a sound a squishing sound so look what I'm going to do I'm going to go to the sounds button right there sounds I'm going to go way down here and I'm going to get the sound effect of a squishing sound. It's right there. Effect. And it's called squish pop, I think. So I'm going to scroll down. You can choose what you want, which one you want. I like squish pop. Where's squish pop here? Right there. Listen, hear that? Nice. So it's the apple hitting the bottom. Squishy pop. So before it goes all the way back to the top, it's going to play the sound. Play sound squishy pop until done. And then it's going to go all the way to the top. Ready, let's try it. Ready, green flag. And I'm going to click it. And it goes to the top. Good. We're almost done, by the way. Thank you for your patience. Now we're going to go code the ball, uh, the bowl, so it goes back and forth along the bottom. So I'm going to have the bowl start way down here, and it's going to glide this way, and then glide back and do that forever. And you try to get the uh, apple to land in the bowl. So look how I'm going to code the ball. I'm going to have it start way down here. So when the green flag is clicked, um, whoops, let me make that a bit bigger so you can see it. When the green flag is clicked, go to the bottom corner. So go to, and I'm just going to have a nice even number. So it's going to be negative 200 
and um, negative 150. You can use my numbers if you like. So let's just test to make sure it's a good spot. Yep, it's a good spot right there. That's negative 200 and negative 150. And then it's going to just move 10 steps all the way across. So move 10 steps. Let's try to repeat that a whole bunch of times until it gets all the way across. Let's try 10 times. Ready? Green flag. Oh, that's not even close. Let's try 20 times. Ready? Green flag. Still not enough. I think the right number for me is 40. Let's try that. Ready? Green flag. See, it moved 10 steps across 40 times. Now I'm going to have it come all the way back. So I'm going to get another repeat. And it's going to do this 40 times, but it's going to move negative 10 steps or minus 10 steps. So move minus 10 steps. There, let's try that. Ready? Green flag goes all the way across and comes all the way back. Perfect, but I want it to do that forever and ever. So look what I'm going to do. I'm going to grab that, pull it down. I'm going to put a forever loop around that. Okay, so I'm going to go get a forever loop. And this is going to do that forever and ever. Just go back and forth the bowl. See that? Now I'm going to put that there. Notice how those repeats are nested right in the forever loop. It's perfect. Green flag and go. Look, the bowl goes back and forth, back and forth. Now I'm going to try to get the apple to land in that bowl. Ready? Here we go. Oh, I missed. Oh, I missed again. Hey, I'm good at coding these games. I'm terrible at playing these games. I'm just going to have to practice. Hey, we have to do one more thing. You know, if someone's coming to play your game, they won't know what to do and they won't understand the game. So we got to get a character to introduce and explain the game. So look what I'm going to do. I'm going to go down here and I'm going to go get a character and a character I like for this game. And you can choose whoever you want. Um, the character I like for this game is the fairy. She seems to go nicely in this forest. So where's the fairy? Um, fairy. Um, where is she here? There she is, right there. I'm just going to make her a little bit smaller. She's awfully big. See, right now she's 100%. See that, 100? I'm going to make her maybe like 70%. There. I'm going to move her down a little bit. And then when the green flag is clicked, she's going to explain the game and t tell us how to play. So when the green flag is clicked, the fairy is going to say something. And the saying is in the looks button right there. And this fairy is going to say... Click the apple to fall in the bowl, or something like that. Click the apple so it lands in the bowl. And I'm going to have her say it for four seconds. Nobody can read that in two seconds. So let's test this out. Ready? Green flag. The bowl is moving. Oh, she's talking. Click the apple so it lands in the bowl. Ah, now I know how to play. So let's see. Ready? Green flag. Oh, I kind of got it there. Yes, I got it that time. Great. So I think this is pretty much it for this one. I hope you liked it. And uh, I'm looking forward to seeing you at our next activity. Thanks. Have a great day.